Hey guys, it's me, Fire Alarm 19122, and welcome to the very first bedroom system test. Let's get right into the video. So starting off with the fire alarm panel, we have a Edwards EFSC uh, five zone two NAC fire alarm control panel, and three out of the five zones are being used, and two of the NACs are being used. So um, there's a there's a trouble on zone four because this resistor is bad and it's not making a good enough connection because it's broken and it's the only resistors that I have. But I, I plan to order some uh, Edwards resistors for this panel so that all these troubles go away. I don't plan to put batteries in it. Um, maybe I will in the future. I'd also like to hook it up to like a dialer to my phone because that would be cool, but I don't think that's gonna happen anytime soon. So yeah, but here is a good look at the inside. That's where your 120 is. Um, transformer motherboard stuff like that so i can disable the horns the horn strobe so yeah so following this wire mold all the way up close to the ceiling i know the wall screwed up uh we have a system sensor 2424th heat and smoke detector right next to a edwards genesis g1 rf hdvm horn strobe I, the reason why I put a horn strobe in here is because I wanted a horn strobe in here. Uh, I know it's, it's probably way too extreme for this small room, but uh, the sound goes out in my room too. So, but I I already have another horn on this on the system, so I don't think this will stay up here. Um, they might get taken down and replaced with a G1RF VM uh, remote strobe. So, yeah. Um, this is set on 15 candela, I believe. Yeah, 15 candela. So, yeah. So going to the left to the fire alarm panel, going all the way down, we go to junction box for zone two. The, yeah, there's splices in here for zone two because the wire was short and I wanted to have another junction box by the fire panel. So this is a zone two uh, box. And then following this wire all the way around, in front of my shoes up and to the left we have a junction box full of wires that connects the knacks for out here or the knack there's only one horn out here um and the pull station and smoke detector for out here so yeah i'm not even gonna bother opening that box because it's it's a mess in there so following this wire mold up we have a Edwards 278B110 uh, pole station, also known as the SIGA, uh, SIGA series. Um, well, they are if they are addressable. This is a conventional model, so yeah. I have a brake rod up there because I took it out because I, I want to pull the pole station to test it. So yeah, I'm not going to break the brake rod. Although I have another one, uh, but I might break that one. For another test but for now i'm not going to break any brake rods following the wire mold up some more we have a est genesis low frequency sounder 520 hertz um i think the model on this is glf4 uh w i'm not i can't remember it i'll put it up on the screen um yeah but that it's an est genesis white low frequency sounder horn I ordered a horn strobe, but this came as a horn, but I'm not even going to bother following the conduit up more or wire mold. Uh, we have a ESL 511C, just a smoke detector. Um, I think you can see it blink. This has a magnet test on it. So it's a photoelectric smoke detector. So here's how this is going to work. I'm going to put the system into walk test and we're going to go around pull pull stations, test smoke alarms or smoke detectors. And then I'm going to do a full bell test. So, um, yeah, I'll probably push the drill button for that. So, um, yeah, oh, let's do a lamp test though. I want to see if all the LEDs work. Yeah, the battery, the battery lights, not very good on this panel. So, um, but yeah, let's put this thing into walk test. So yeah, I think you hold it. I'm pretty sure. 
So scratch that. I don't know if my walk test works or not on this panel, so we're just gonna disable the, the horns and the horn strobe. So, all right, both knacks are disabled and I think we should start with the smoke, smoke detector in here. The system sensor 2424TH. Oh, there. Drop my screwdriver. So yeah, that's that. So we're doing a silent test right now because I can't figure out how to get walk test working. I'll probably do walk test next system test, but the next monthly test. Right here, we're at the Sega or the two seven eight. There's the pull station. And then we'll do, I don't know why I push silence, but we'll do the smoke detector with the magnet. Uh, hold on, I can't. Oh, it's blinking. There we go. That was the quickest that I've ever seen that smoke detector activate. I don't, I don't know why it was that fast. I want to know why it's fast that time. So yeah. So now we're at the fun part of the video where I get to set off the horns. So um, this is gonna be extremely loud. So I'm gonna have to go back and edit the video to where it's not as loud. So I'm gonna keep the keep the panel open. So we're gonna go over to the two seven eight and pull it. So. Three, two, one. Audible silence because that's what these ESP panels do for Genesis. Two wire audible silences. So, yeah. That's the bells. Um, we can go out here, check this out. This isn't doing anything since uh, it's um, a low frequency horn. If it had a strobe on it, it would be flashing because it's a Genesis alarm. So, we'll go ahead and reset. And one thing that's interesting about this low frequency sounder is that whenever it loses power, it pops. So, I mean, it is a speaker, so um, it makes sense. Um, but yeah, so that's been uh, bedroom system test one. I'll see you next month for the next test. Thanks for watching, liking, subscribe.